the evil lie prophet. He said, come on, come on. Come eat pie. Come eat. He said, come. Hey, pie wine. He said, pie wine. Buy yourself some milk. Wine will make you stagger. When the glory of God is upon you. You wonder why apostolic get crazy sometimes. We're staggering with the spirit of God. When the spirit of the Lord is upon me. When it's upon me, make your dance. Look at David. He had the spirit. David was so crazy. He was so crazy. He started dancing. Don't let me take my shirt off today. He started dancing. He went crazy. Oh, he had some wine, you see. He had that salvation wine. wine. New wine. Not that carnal wine. God had some wine in the cellar. The way to sip it. He said, come now, buy yourself some wine. Get inebriated in God. Lord of mercy. Then he said, get some milk, it's good. It's a dairy product, you see. You need the nutrients. Get that nutrient. For you need to be in the world, though you're not of the world. You need to have the nutrient to stand in the world. He said, drink some milk and be strong in the Lord. so strong that when Elisha died, Lord of mercy, when Elisha died, his burial was in the pit. Echo shy. A young man died. We opened the sepulchre and threw the body in. When the body landed, he got life. He jumped right back up. Life came in the young man. For the bones had that nutrient. The bones had that milk. It had what it took. I'm coming down, I'm closing. Yes. And so the Eagle I prophet said, get that milk. Hallelujah. And get it without money. Get it without a price. I love the next two questions, Lord. Lord help me. All night. I was up all night, Lord. I love it. Tired and tired we. I said, God, you brought me here. Deliver, Lord. Deliver. Jesus. I love the next two questions. He said, wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? Why are you spending your money on things that is not what have the nutrient values in it? Why are you spending your money on things that have no value that will decompose in a while? Why are you killing yourself to work 90 hours a week? Why are you killing yourself to build a big old house on the river? Why you're killing yourself to feed everybody because you said you're the head of the house and you work a million hours until you drop dead. Why are you killing yourself to build some home back in the Caribbean? Why are you killing yourself to see to be somebody? We kill ourselves to be somebody. He said, wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? Bread is a source of life. You gotta eat. Bread represents that meal. That meal that you need. And becoming a child of God, the natural bread don't have as much value. It's good because you need little strength. But the bread that you need is the bread of life. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Oh, Lord. Eat of me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus said, second question. And your labor for that which satisfied not. Satisfied not. Why are you 
laboring and why are you wet? killing yourself to give you something that cannot give you the proper nutrient and does not satisfy you the implication here is that there is a vain or ineffectual attempt to accomplish or obtain satisfaction via temporal means in other words you're killing yourself to be satisfied by using temporal things in other words if you think you have a wife a husband a car hey 2.5 children two million dollars in the bank you think you have made it all you think you're kind of there you think that you have it all you call yourself blessed but i want to tell you that blessed is not seen in this realm but this realm is cursed and everything you build is fuel for fire the bible says the big house is only fuel for fire everything you raise up shall come down for Sodom was burned and so shall this world why do you find satisfaction in carnal things if you can afford it good for you but don't kill yourself to have it help me now and by virtue of trying to do so one fails to obtain the manner of life that is that it was ordained to fulfill in other words your life will not fulfill that which it has been ordained to fulfill in other words one's life failed to meet the standard of God amen to God it doesn't matter how much money you have accrued hallelujah if your life does not fulfill the purpose for which it is created the life is a futile life your life is nothing but a futile life if you accomplish this work and some of us when we get old we say I've done all but if you accomplish this life you have accomplished a futile life and your life in God is not meant for you to build a big home and a 2.5 children and a wife and a husband and money in the bank that is called a futile life it is futile for the day come when you shall be cut down like a tree and when the tree fall there shall it lie and if no one moves the tree when it's cut down it is a futile tree it will stay there and rot and rot until it becomes like the dust of the ground so if your life is like a tree if your life is like that tree when Jesus saw it he came to it and said I'm hungry when he saw the fig tree he said I'm hungry he said I've come by two times and this stupid tree didn't bring for nothing I'm gonna curse it for it's a futile life you have futile lives in the church many of us are in the church and God is speaking to us in the church we come to the church of God we put on the name of Jesus and some of us even dare to get the Holy Ghost but we live and we seek not God we seek not to fulfill that which we have been called Paul said I've not yet apprehended for that which I've been apprehended but I press towards the prize of the mark of the high calling in other words I want to fulfill that which I've been called to fulfill I didn't come to the church to warm up the bench we have a lot of bench warmers oh God help me in sports we say you're no good you're a bench warmer you have no value to the team if you're a bench warmer you gotta contribute to the team if you're in work and you don't do anything of value you're useless on the job in the church of Jesus Christ if you've done nothing if you have the gift and you don't press somebody say press if you don't press towards the prize of the mark of the high court if you're not hungry for God if you don't pursue God if you don't pursue your calling many of us have calling but we'll never realize the calling because we're complete Sin. We sit in the house of God and we get fat in the spirit. And some of us even get fat physically. Hallelujah. Because we don't exercise. We don't get out and work for the kingdom. And work in the kingdom. But God said, if you don't do that which you've been called to do, it's a futile life. If your life does not glorify God, it is a futile life. Your life must be a glorified life. 